when you're scrolling down your Instagram feed and you're like, this photo. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't even, I can't. The truth is, there's only a few simple steps to achieve. I can't even. Status. Here we go. Step one, find great lighting. Taking a good photograph, even on your cell phone, is all about chasing and capturing light. This is bad light. Even worse light. Bathroom light. Good light. If you're taking a picture indoors, then find a nice window and place yourself in between the window and your subject. Or if you don't have access to good light, then find a nice lamp. You don't want the completely fluorescent light giving you this bluish look, but you want to find like the whitest light you can. And you can fix the color in post-processing in some kind of app. You just want to make sure that your subject has direct contact with that light and you're not getting any like huge shadows going on. You also want a little bit of backlighting, otherwise you're gonna have a stark contrast between your subject and the completely black darkness behind you and it just doesn't look good. Step two, you have to find the right angle. I see a lot of people taking pictures like this and like this. That doesn't work. What is the focus on your photograph? Is this a kick-ass selfie that's gonna make all the honeys trip? Then place your sweet self in the foreground. Honestly, it's the funniest thing when I hand my phone or camera to somebody in public and ask them to take a picture of me and my friend. Yet, they back up 30 feet and I'll be back here. Really, you'll do much better with this angle trick than and giving your phone to someone else to take a picture. The easiest and most effective method while taking a picture is just a nice slight downward angle with your phone. It's the same angle I'm using for my camera filming right now. It allows for the subject to look up, catch good light on the face, and at the same time, increase the foreground while decreasing the background. You don't want to go overboard up here because that's just going to look ridiculous and then it's going to look like you have no body and everything's worse. If you're trying to get a whole bunch of people in your picture and you're having trouble reaching far enough and you're getting that double chin, you can get yourself the selfie stick. This is probably the most ridiculous and and incredibly intelligent invention in the entire universe. Look at this, you can just pull it out, put your phone up here, hold it out, and take your picture. Magic. Downward angle is not the end all be all of all photographs. Every subject calls for a different kind of angle. The trick is to really think creatively where you can position your camera phone. Like what new perspective can I take in this scenario in order to take a photo that looks nothing like anyone else's photos who have taken photos here. That makes a photo more interesting and the more interesting a photo is, the more interested people are going to be in the photo. Once you find good lighting and a great angle, it's time to take the picture. Take multiple to make sure that you really get a fine focus in at least one of them. Step three, use other apps besides Instagram Instagram in order to edit your photos. Some awesome apps that are available to help you with your editing are VizcoCam, Facetune, and Afterlight. VizcoCam provides some awesome adjustable filter features, especially with their fades, and it's completely free if you don't want to pay any money to buy another app. Facetune provides you with the tools to smooth out skin features. You can even blur out the background in your photos, which makes it look like you took your photo with one of these when you actually just took it with one of these. Afterlight allows you to fine tune your shadows and highlights in the warmth of your photos, and it's so much more effective than Instagram. It also gives you access to great light leak features and some of that staticky stuff in order to give you more of like an indie look if you're going for that. And finally, you can print your beautiful Instagrams. So I've been introduced to this amazing app called Social Print Studio, and I gotta say that it is the most amazing thing that I have discovered this entire year. I had no idea that my Instagrams could ever be printed like this. But after talking to the people at Social Print Studio, I was like, oh my god, I need to get one of these books for Michael and my eight month anniversary. <laughs> So, this book is uh, all of the Instagrams that Michael and I have taken together um, since we've met. This is honestly like the cutest thing that I have ever ordered and I just want to cry. Now that I'm filming this, I'm like, oh, I should make this available online so you guys can like flip through it if you want. I have no idea how I can do that, but if I can figure it out, then I will tweet the link out and you can see everything there. If not, just go to my Instagram because all the photos are there anyway, so you can just scroll through, but we'll try to figure it out. How does the app work? They have all these different options of things that you can buy and oh my God, they have magnets and buttons. <gasps> they have cute buttons. Okay, I want some of those. So you can go in and you can select photos from your Instagram or from your camera roll. You can adjust and refine your images and make sure that it's everything that you want. And if you're ordering a book of your Instagrams then you can select your cover page and design it and it looks amazing. But then you just hit confirm and you're done. I'll put the links to Social Print Studio in the description below. And if you want to buy anything for Valentine's Day, then they are accepting orders for Valentine's Day until Thursday at 7 p.m. Now that I've given you a few simple steps to take some really good Instagrams, you can tweet me your new awesome photos. And then I can like them, like, 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 like. Thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Ooh, we got a closeout screen now. This is cool. Click this video here if you'd like to see this amazing raging rant on customer service and the adventures I've had with them. And click the video here if you'd like to go to Michael and my second channel in which we post more daily vlogs vlog stuff and that video is about the Super Bowl so we got our football on or whatever.
We got the football. We got the football. You can find me on all of my social media links in the description below. Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, everything. So follow me on all of those things and I will return a present to you like a pony or a piece of pizza. I don't know, something nice. So yeah, that's what we got for you today. I also have new prints from the 365 project that I've been doing, photography. Those prints are on sale for $20 a piece so you can get nice wall art going. Check out the link, matthew-schuler.com and get your print today. It's gonna dance. I need to make like a how-to dance video. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.